Hello everyone, this is John Reed from the data mining class. In this video, I want to show you how to perform um, some cross validation analysis and how to build some super vector machines or SVM models on RARA. And um, then for that, we're going to use this um, Boston housing data set, uh, the binary version that we have been using in previous videos. Um, and uh, again, the target variable here is just a binary variable um, with one. If the price the price is high, uh, it means it's in the fourth quartile and zero otherwise. Uh, for this cross validation analysis, we're going to split our data into seventy percent for training and thirty percent for testing. We're not using any validation set here. So I'm going to hit execute and let's go to our model. So we can find SVM here and the different options for kernel are in this menu. In the video we're gonna try RBF and polynomial uh, kernel. Let's go uh, with polynomial and here you can define the degree of the polynomial and some options that we're gonna talk about uh, later on the video. So let's start with this uh, polynomial kernel with degree one. I'm gonna hit execute. And you can see that um, by default, we are using this uh, C SV, uh, SVC or support vector classification. And Rural is using this uh, cost parameter, C equals one. C um, is a penalization for those observations in the wrong side of the margin, right? And uh, we're gonna uh, use that. So now we can go to evaluate and hit execute, and we'll have this confusion uh, matrix for our model, right? So with these, we can just um, calculate accuracy, or we can use this uh, uh, overall error. So I'm going to another um, Excel file that I have in which I'm um, defining the different combinations for uh, parameters that we're going to try in our model. So uh, the one that we just run is a polynomial with degree 1 and c equals 1. We're going to try also polynomial with degree 1 and c equals 10. You can try um, like higher values of c, like for example 100. Uh, I know that it's not uh, making, it's not changing too much in for this data set, but in general you should try like higher values. And then for our model, the overall error was 6.6%. So we can just type here 6.6%. Right and come back. Um, now we can try another uh, combination of our parameters, and uh, we're trying now the polynomial with degree one, but c is gonna be n, and for that we need to define to uh, enter some uh, parameters here. So we want to do again this uh, support vector sorry, support vector classification with this C, with this cost. Keep in mind that this C is capital. And now the value of C, which in this case was, uh, in this case gonna be 10, right? So let's hit execute. And now you can see that um, the support vector type is the, the same, it's classification, but our cost is changes. So let's go to evaluate hit execute, right? And again, we have our confusion matrix. The overall error is the same in this case. So let's click this 6.6 .6 again, right? And as you can imagine, we are now going for two degree two, degree one, C equals one. Let's evaluate the model. Oh, keep in mind that we are evaluating on the testing data set, right? We are not evaluating the training one. 
the overall error now is 8.5, 8.5%. So and and with c equals 10, we evaluate, and it's going to be 8.6, so 8.6%, and then we are, we are done with the polynomial uh, combination that we want to try. Again, you can try uh, much more combi combinations, but um, just for the sake of the video, we're going to stop there. Now, let's try the RBF or radial basis function uh, kernel. But here, um, Rahul will ask for uh, an estimation of the um, standard deviations that we'll use in the kernel. Then we will say, uh, Rahul, please estimate that. So let's do it automatic. Right. And in the end, we also have to, uh, and we are keeping the C. So let's write C equals one. And now again, this is um, super vector classification. C, is, C equals one. And the sigma standard deviation um, was estimated automatically by Rattle. So we can go to evaluate and execute. And now the error is going to be 7.2. So this is 7.2%. And let's try with 10. Uh, it execute and uh, it's evaluated the model. And it is 4.6%. I was confusing. So sorry. Right, and now we are done with um, all our um, combinations. Oh, sorry about the language, but that's okay. We're not using anything um, particular in Excel. Uh, but yeah, you have uh, the different estimations uh, for your models. So the, this is the error, right? And I did that previously and completed the estimation but now i mean this is the one that we were using right i just use another order here but it's the same uh, but then you can come back to rattle and change the seed right get it many times here and hit execute and go and run the model again right go to svm and run the model uh, in that way i run this five times right because we don't want to keep just um, the estimation with only one split. So we are uh, doing that many, many times, in this case five. Uh, and now we are calculating average and standard deviation of the errors, right? And we will define, we will um, select the model based on these uh, averages and standard deviations. If you have uh, enough um, split, you can even uh, build a confidence interval with this to see if any combination is better than the other. Oh, and the other part that I have here is the accuracy, what I actually did. So if I calculated the accuracy, right, of each model, and then the error is just one minus that, right? Um, you can do uh, either of them. You can just select the one with the lowest uh, average error or the one with the uh, highest uh, accuracy it's gonna be the same thing right uh, and in this case we can see that our winner is uh, RBF with C equals 10 right this is the best SBM that, that we found so um, this is the one that we're trying for producing our general conclusion so ideally we should use another data set, right, with, uh, for testing, right? And you can uh, come here. Okay, I have no, I have no model. I have to run the model. Let's say run the model. You can come here to evaluate, right, and use this uh, CSV file for uh, testing. So you should 
keep that data away, right? And, uh, and just run it. But uh, for the purpose of the video, what we are gonna do is we can just, um, again, hit the seed and uh, produce a different uh, or an additional split, right? So I'm gonna hit here. And what I'm gonna do is uh, we are pretending that uh, since we already identify the best model, we're pretending that now we can use um, the model in a different, in a, in a, in an additional uh, data set, right? So then for the general, for the final production of our estimation, we again are splitting this into 70 and 30. And let's go to model and here, I can just go to SVM and this is the winner. So we can just run it. But the other thing that I want to do is I want to compare this against um, logistic. So I'm gonna run both of them, right? We'll keep them there. And when we come here, we can select both of the models that we were running, the winner of the SVMs and the linear model. Just hit on, just uh, click on testing and hit execute, right? We will see the uh, confusion metrics for both of them, right? But also we can export, um, as I showed you before in the video before, um, we can export the results, right? So we can click on here on score and select probability and identifiers, just hit execute and I will save the data Actually, I can keep the same data here. I'm gonna use the same name to the file. And then we come here, just open um, our results. So uh, again, this is the um, uh, probability of being classified as one for SVM. And this is the probability of being classified as one for the logistic regression. Right, so what we can do is we can just move this here and I'm gonna copy these values here and move this up, right? And then uh, with this, um, with these two observations, again, I just copied this and pasted here. And with these uh, scores and the actual classification, I can do uh, many analyses, like for example, sort these observations based on the score and then calculate um, a confusion matrix for each uh, cutoff, right? I can calculate my true positive, true negative, false positive and false negative for each cutoff that I want to try and then select the best um, the best cutoff or threshold for my classification. I mean, that's one of the analysis that you can do. Uh, you can even include a cost in the, um, with a metric cost uh, for your false negative and false positive or, or a profit if you have like what sort of income uh, when you correctly classify any of them. And you can then plot this profit, right? Or this cost for each model, for the best SVM that we found and for the logistic regression and compare both of them. But yeah, but those are like, uh, they, we're gonna probably talk about that uh, later, right? But yeah, that's it. That's what I wanted to show you about this um, SVM and cross-validation with uh, Rattle.